Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Director of Business Development, Google Play, Purnima Kochikar. Good morning. You can do better than that. It's wonderful to see everyone here. In case you find there are no seats, it's because there is so much excitement about Google Play and Android. There's an overflow room. You, believe me, you will hear all of us and you will see all the videos. So if you don't find seats, please look for somebody to show you an overflow room. Uh, first of all, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your patience in trying to get in here and thank you for being here. So, two billion active users. Isn't that amazing? I don't know if you heard uh, in, at Google I.O., we announced that there were more smartphone users in India than in the United States. Just take a moment to think about it. Think about what it means for you when you think about the Indian market. More smartphone users in India than in the United States. Now the question I'm sure a lot of you are asking and several of you asked me yesterday when we met is to say, are they doing anything with their phones? Are they using data? So I am super happy to tell you that we hit one billion app installs a month on Google Play in India. Just think of what that means, right? It's almost the size of our population. It's 150% growth year over year. And that is a testament to all the amazing apps and games you and other developers on Android are writing. Now, we have been looking to celebrate the apps and games you write by really thinking about how to celebrate the Indian cultural diaspora. We have had collections for um, you know, Diwali and cricket, of course, everybody loves cricket, uh, as well as for sub zero, I mean, sub dollar pricing, pricing for India, et cetera, to celebrate. But we've also been spending some time really thinking about how to take away the friction for getting people to pay for the amazing apps and games you're writing. When we thought about payments on Google Play overall, we realized that payments is a cultural thing. A lot of people prefer their mode of payment just because that's what they've been used to. Germans, for example, prefer PayPal. Japanese prefer uh, carrier billing because you know, they, they bought a lot from Entity Docomo right, even before Android and Play. So when we looked at the Indian user, we found that you are used to paying for the, on the carrier billing because you bought value-added services like ringtones and wallpapers, et cetera. This is also a very cash economy which means that we, you, know, you like to pay with cash, so we had gift cards come in, and then you wanted it to be in using the payments that you like, which is the wallets. So let's talk about it one by one. So I'm super happy to announce that today we have prepaid and postpaid support for carrier billing across Airtel, Vodafone, and Idea, which means you have enormous coverage. In, in anybody wanting to pay for your content using carrier billing, it's there. Second, we have more than 4,000 retail outlets where people can go pay a cash, like top-up cards, buy a gift card, and then pay for apps and games. When we did that, several of you told us that you want lower denomination. 100 rupees, you said, is the right price point for India. And you also said, can I not have to do it by going and getting a physical gift card? Can I do it on pin on receipt? So earlier this year in January, we launched, again, a global first. A lot of things we do here end up becoming global solutions. We launched pin on receipt with your favorite wallets, Paytm and others. And this was you know, well in line with all of you as you know, India went into demonetization and more people are using wallets. There is more people now who can use you know, a lower denomination with their popular wallets. All good? So more people can pay. Now the question is, are they paying? Let's find out. So consumer spend grew 3x over the last year. So think about this, right? More smartphones in India 
than in the United States. A billion installs means people are actively consuming data and consumer spend has grown 3x. I can't find a better confluence of circumstances that tell you that this market is ready for you and for your innovation. So today, we want to celebrate you and all the amazing ideas that you are going to build for the Indian market. And so let's take a moment to figure out, uh, see the video about some folks who are building for the Indian market. As you know, India is a land of about 1.3 billion people, has a big demographic divide with people of multiple income levels, multiple literacy levels, multiple languages. What technology can do is to create a common layer and can actually improve the quality of life of people. I think the greatest tool we have today in front of us is the smartphone. And there's a hell of a lot of things you can do with that and real world problems you can solve with that. A mobile phone along with the internet connectivity just makes everybody stand at the same level. Healthify Me is India's largest health and fitness app. Slowly but surely, an app a day, we are keeping the health momentum and revolution going in the country. There were no calorie counting tools for this country. And we are the diabetic and heart problems capital of the world. And I felt that that's a problem of hundreds of millions of Indians. And someone had to build Indian nutritional database. Urban Clap is an app which helps you buy very high quality and trusted home services. Everything from a beautician to an interior designer and everything else in the middle. If you look at the service professional ecosystem in India, the vast majority of these people, even though they are good at their craft, make 10 to 15,000 rupees a month. And multiple reasons hinder them from becoming a fully organized microservice entrepreneur who can make 40, 50, 60,000 rupees a month and be a real part of India's middle class. Railia 3 is about helping travelers in India who use railways as a mode of transportation to make smart decisions. We have gotten used to tracking an envelope going from one part of the country to the other part of the world. Why can't we track about a you know, half a kilometer long train? We clearly knew that people use language for content consumption. If you look at the readership of newspapers, if you look at the readership of Bollywood movies, I mean, they're all in local language. So that came intuitively. Rather than any market research done around it, we intuitively thought about that as a core pivot and a core reason why people will use our app. Daily Earned app is a, one of the most popular apps in the country. 95% of our consumption is on local languages, which is non-English. Today, the app is used by 3 million users everywhere. We've got nearly 200 coaches and nutritionists spread all over the country and our app is one of the highest rated apps in India. On a monthly basis, we are reaching to about a 9 million people. Over a period of time now, we've added all the routes, hospital information and all. We have about 70,000 service partners who use our app literally every single day. We continue to serve more than 10,000 customers every single day. We want to create a million jobs in the service sector in India. I think my suggestion to everybody who is thinking about doing something of their own is uh, don't be scared. Nobody, to the best of my knowledge, has died of entrepreneurship. If you've got a great idea, just keep at it. You need to get out of your offices and go into the real Bharat in India if you really want to build an app which has to be successful in India. <clears throat> Give yourself a big hand. You know, think about the massive problems that are being addressed here, right? Health for Indians by addressing everything from cardiac issues as well as diabetes to understanding how you create employment and better outcomes for the service sector to keeping Indians informed in their local language to getting people safely from one place to another. Can you think of any other market that has this immense opportunity and this great, active, ambitious developers to solve them? I can't. So this is an invitation for you to solve for India, and who better to tell us about it than the VP for India and Southeast Asia, Rajan Anandan. <laughs>